Hey guys, so this will just be a quick tutorial showing you how to uh, get your custom mods in game using Maya. So the first step, like, I want to go uh, explain how you get the, uh, the models and stuff from the game files. I mean, uh, Uncle Fessel already um, exported and uploaded models that you can download from uh, the website, so just try that instead. So once you've got the models, uh, you just import them into your scene. Let me find it. Uh, so DC nine or one. Wait, so. so the original file, I just import flowers, uh, rake, and model. Might take a bit. Cool. So the model is in there. Uh, for some reason, like the rig, it shows up really weird in Maya, like the bones and stuff. But you don't need to worry about it. It's like once you export it, everything should be fine in Unreal. Um, so after that's done, you import your. Uh, before importing your model, like I like to rename the original one, just be safe. Like sometimes Maya doesn't like something being the same name, so I just modify that. After that, you just import your uh, modded mesh. Just select uh, the model mesh. Uh, just a second. Usually, you, you don't need to worry about unlocking this stuff, but because I already tested it and like binded it to the skeleton, uh, it's locked the transformations. So I'll just unlock this for a sec. So as you can see, this is the original model. Here is the modded version. Um, I just put it back. Um, it sets transformations, so it's originally set the center of the world. Uh, I'll delete its history. Um, one thing that's worth mentioning is just make sure that your mod has everything as one piece. So as you can see, I added this piece, but it's still like a single, uh, it's still a single uh, model or asset, I guess. Yeah. So with your modded mesh selected, select the skeleton, then go to skin, bind skin. Now it should be bound to the skeleton. But as you can see, it is like weird stuff going on because it's not weighted correctly. Um, for this, you just transfer the weights from the original to the new mesh. Go to skin, copy skin weights. These are my settings. It's basically closest point on surface uh, and closest joints. Like I don't really mess around with it too much. It might be worth playing around with it if your mesh doesn't uh, weight as you expect expect it to. So yeah. But I just use the default settings. So after this, you can test if everything went right. Like it should be exactly the same. There shouldn't be any any stuff that's wrong. But since this is a uh, modification and it's uh, stuff can go wrong. So, for example, with the hair, like because the vertices were closer to the hair, it was bound to the hair instead. You can fix this uh, quite easily in Maya. You just select the vertices that are affected. It's 
sweat tickets was just hanging there. So what I did there is I just select a few vertices and uh, you see shortcuts, shifts, uh, periods. Basically what that does is uh, it selects the vertices right next to it, where they are connected to the uh, vertices, so it expands your selection. So that's a quick way to select everything that's close to each other. Um, so the next thing, once we've got the vertices selected, we go to scan every skin weights and it should fix it. Uh, usually you don't need to do much afterwards, but yeah, there should be everything you need basically. So that's, uh, yeah, cool. So I've transferred the weighting. I'll just uh, reset the pose to the bind pose. Just delete the original. You don't really need to delete it, but I'll do it anyway. It's just a bit cleaner. So the next thing is, uh, once you've got everything weighted correctly, just select the skeleton and then the mesh. Then export your selection. Export settings are, they should be in default values, um, but I'm not exactly sure, like I might have mess around with smoothing moves and stuff, but I think you can just use your the uh, default values. Uh, the scale factor, like if you know what you're doing, you can like set it to whatever. Because uh, the I exported the meshes out of 3s max as inches, I'll just export as inches as well, so it's the same size. So the moment you import it into Unreal, it will be the correct size. So you just so, so you don't need to change the scale afterwards. Um, with those settings done, I'll just export my model and then I'll import it into Unreal. Uh, yeah, so let me get rid of these first. So in Unreal, you just go to import, here to import bottom. And then you select your uh, mesh, or your, uh, your mod. Yeah, so make sure import as skeleton is uh, enabled, otherwise it won't import the skeleton. Uh, this should be on default if Unreal um, finds a skeleton in the, in the file. So you don't really need to worry about that. Um, if you're doing like t textured mods as well, make sure you import your materials. Uh, you don't need to worry about the textures because you will use the material instances. So um, sometimes I can give you a warning about missing joints and stuff like that. Uh, you don't really need to worry too much about the warnings. Um, usually they will just end up running to the game. So I will just ignore that. I don't. I won't use the materials, so I just delete those. Uh, the skeleton you rename it to CMN underscore skeleton. Then you move it to the CMN skeleton folder. Make 
make sure to save these assets, otherwise they won't get cooked. Uh, sometimes your skeleton might go wrong for some reason, or your, uh, your mesh. You can just hit three imports and it should be fine. Yeah, I don't know why it does it, but yeah, it's not an issue. Just make sure to save. Then the final step is to quit your projects. And then the last step is to just copy your cooked assets into your mods uh, folder. I'm using the mod manager so I just put it inside of this. seems to be exported correctly. The weight seems to be fine, so everything transfers properly. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> and then you get an error code, of course. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> cool. Well, that's it. So, um, yeah. If you guys have any questions, just message me on, uh, on the forums or uh, leave a uh, message in the uh, YouTube comments.